All right, check it out. Checking in HNIC. This is the podcast where we talk business. That's what we're going to do today. We had a couple guests that uh, mentioned that they had DBAs, fictitious name savings. So we're going to double down on that. We're going to do too much talking. We're just going to get right into it. So, what is a DBA? A DBA is doing business as, you know. So, um, it's the same thing as a fictitious name uh, statement. And it's also the same thing as what we call a pseudonym. So if you ever hear these different words, don't get discouraged. Don't think that, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. These words are synonymous, meaning they mean the same thing. So um, what a DBA is, is is simply a registered name for your business. That's simply all it is. So you can have an LLC or S Corp or something else like that. And then you could do uh, what they call umbrella and um, so you have a main business, and from that business, you branch down and have little sub businesses. You know, and this is like one of the main reasons people would use a DBA. But um, a DBA also um, is something that usually first time business owners start with before they get their LLC or before they get their sole proprietorship or um, whatever tax bracket they would like to choose. Always do your own research when you're choosing a tax bracket and uh, choosing how you want to file your taxes. Um, So I don't want to say tax bracket. It's how you want to file your taxes. So um, the pseudonym, the fictitious business name statement, and the DBA. Um, The fictitious name statement, that will be when you get your actual paperwork showing that... um, yeah, I have a DB, you know, you have a, a you, your name did this. I'm going to be doing business under this name. And you're registering with the county. And um, what you would do is you would put your, um, you go register with the county clerk, wherever your county clerk may be, whatever state, whatever city, whatever the case. Um, you go register with your county clerk. Um, a lot of times they have options where you can do it online. You just go in, it should say, you just look for fictitious business name. Um, That's usually what they list it as and under, you know. So don't ever get discouraged if someone uses different terminology that you might not be familiar with and something that you haven't followed. So um, following up with that, we're going to show you step-by-step how to do it in Los Angeles County, how to register um, a fictitious name statement and this would be the beginning and the start of you having a business and um, when you start the fictitious name um, they usually give you a certain amount of time I think it's um, 90 days or something like that and um, in that period of time you have to uh, post some type of ad in a um, local newspaper or something like that it's basically announcing to the public that you are a business and you will be doing business under this name and that is one of the requirements um the option i chose when i did it actually i paid like 90 bucks and um what you there's free options and they and they make those clear to you but just to avoid the hassle i wouldn't pay the 90 bucks so basically in business we would call that outsourcing so i outsourced it to a a company who got me with um, a newspaper and they just basically did everything for me And just let me know you're in there and you're done. And um, I reported that back to the county clerk. And that's when they give you your name statement. And you're in business. You can can actually start doing and beginning your and branding your business. So that's the information we got for today. And uh, I think that's going to be a wrap. We're going to show you right now. Tune in. Pay attention. And let's get it. Check it out. Check it in. So we are on the uh, county clerk website for los angeles county is popping up this saying we're open by appointment due to the uh covid19 type thing so they gotta go by these um protocols to make sure everyone's safe and not from covid so let's not do too much talking just jump right into it so when you come to this website you want to do it online um you always uh the one in los angeles uh, is located in norwalk um there's usually different buildings you can do it at not all the buildings are the same. Some do some things, some don't do other things. So make sure if you go into uh, whatever uh, county building, whether it's to for marriage, as you can see, marriage and all these different things you do at the uh, county office, um, just make sure the, the office you go to actually provides that service so you don't waste your time. Sometimes they have like a mega branch and then like a sub branch for doing 
and it's really a lot smaller than um what the 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 mega branch would be. So we're doing fictitious name statements. So the first thing you're gonna do, as you can see, it shows your options if you have renewals, fee, and just general info. So first off, starting off, we're gonna go straight to the general info so the uh, people see that um, what what's going on. So a person doing business for Poppet under a uh, Fictitious name does not include surname or company name. The statement must be filed in the county of principal place of business and may also be filed in other counties as long as the requirements for filing the county of principal place of business have been met. Um, Nonprofit corporations, organizations, or associations are not required to file a fictitious business name statement. Here will be our filing options. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, it's just explaining about um, you can do it in person. You can do it by mail. Um, this is the information if you want to do it that way. Um, we're going to go straight out of this. Let's go back to county clerk. Oh, county clerk. Let's go to file fictitious business name. This is the same fucking information. All right, we're going to hit get started. What would you like to do today? We would like to file. So you have the option of proof of publication. This is after you get, um, when you, when you get it, your, your fictitious name in a paper and they make the announcement that you're doing business, you, they would send this, you would send that, uh, proof to them and then they would send you your fictitious business name statement and so yeah as you can do it third party this is like if you have like a um somebody that is you're the owner and they're 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 operating the business for you you know manager type thing that type deal you got the mail in um requires a notary public submission and then the in person which um which would be the most easy to me to do that's what i did So uh, we're just going to do the, the fictitious. We're going to do it in person. Fictitious business name statement. We don't want to do a renewal. We don't want to do a draw. We want to do boom. So what you do, sometimes all these names are, some of these, most of these names are taken up. So you, let's just put um, um, hammer time, something funny. No results found. You may search everything you're using below if you know, expires five years after the day filed. Okay, let's see. Proceed. You can go to business type. As if you already have something. When I first did this, I just clicked LLC and I didn't even have a established LLC. Mm, we don't need to do that. Number of registrants requires proof of current existence and good standing from counter. Oh yeah, we don't need that. Hit married couple. This is how I did it. Anniversary owner, full name, hammer time. Fake. So we're going to hit proceed. Um, please enter the information of the registered owner who will be signing the fictitious business name statement. It's going to be hammer time one. Signatories Tyra. We're going to say husband. And we're going to. Please enter the business name. Hammer. Time. Boom. I'm going to hit proceed. Now they want to know the same information over. This can be a bit tedious. Let's 
because of the information, so we're going to put gold men golden. Oh, Jesus, that niggas want you to keep putting this same stuff in. We're going to get through this, guys. Date registering commit to transaction business under this fictitious business name or names listed above. It's Christmas. We're going to go like that. You know what? We're going to put N slash A. Oops. And we'll proceed. Review fictitious. Yep, 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 yep. I have verified and acknowledged. I am not a robot. Skip. Skip verify. <clears throat> Palm trees. Hit submit order. Thank you, your confirmation. Boop, boop, boop. That was all fake information. And that's how it is. Hit print. Boop, boop, blah, blah, blah. Bang, bang, bing. Check it out. Check it in.